Hey everyone, it's Alex with Six String Recess, and I wanted to put together a video kind of showing how my practicing and transcription workflow works on iOS. Now, if you've read any of my posts or you've met me personally, you know how much I love to prattle on about what a great era it is to be a guitar player in this era of powerful mobile devices. Now, the real goal of why I want to show you this stuff is sort of what I'm trying to accomplish in the first place, which is to come up with a nice, quiet environment where I can work on small phrases over and over again where I can pick stuff apart. This is all stuff that really nobody else wants to hear. They don't want to hear a little, you know, two bar snippet over and over again sped up from 50% to 100% and me, you know, fumbling around trying to figure out how to do it. So what's great is these devices are powerful enough that you can plug your guitar in, you can get a good enough sound out of it, and then uh, there's another app I'll show you called AnyTune, which is a fantastic way to break songs down and figure them out. So a couple of things you're gonna need. One, obviously you're gonna need an iOS device. iPhone will work. In this case, I have an iPad here that we'll take a look at. Earbuds are good. Uh, I have these in-ear monitors, but really anything will work you know, that you can put on so that you can sort of rock out in private. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is some kind of interface unit which will allow you to plug your guitar in to your iOS device and then there's a number of amp simulator apps that you can use. Um, I recently just picked up the uh, the iRig HD from IK Multimedia and uh, I really like this one. I think it has a great solid construction. So let's get started with the first thing and that is let's get ourselves connected uh, with the iPad. So uh, I've already got my interface plugged in uh, here in the 30 port or 30 pin connector uh, on the end of my iPad then the only other thing I need to do is jack in there. All right let's take a look at any tune uh, and I want to show you in particular a really cool feature so I'm I actually have a real problem I need to solve here I've got a cover band gig coming up and we're gonna do the Van Halen tune Beautiful Girls, which I've played for years, but I've never really known all the little fills and I've never really exactly gotten the solo correctly. The first thing I like to do when I get started with this, if it's a song I kind of know or have a rough idea, is play along real briefly so that I can make sure my guitar is exactly in tune. So rather than adjust the tuning of my guitar to match the song, with any tune, I can adjust the tuning of the song to match my guitar. I've already tuned up, it's in a place where I like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this and then I'll play along and kind of adjust the pitch as I see fit. Man, that sounds a little off. That sounds better. All right, so here I'm uh, 0.2 semitones off, which is 20 cents, I think. Um, so that gets me about in the ballpark there. So now what I can do is even though I've got all my phrases set, now I really want to practice the solo as one whole thing. I will go ahead and get my Step It Up trainer going and we'll see how we do. So that's the basic idea. I still have some work to do there on phrase three. But that's how I go about and break all this stuff down. And that's why I think this tool is so great. And this is great. I could be doing this at two in the morning, totally rocking out, figuring this stuff out, and I'm not going to bother a soul while I'm doing it. So I encourage you to take a look at these tools. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, get yourself a decent audio interface like the iRig HD. And then do yourself a favor and uh, grab any tune. I will be doing a lot more lessons where I will be providing any tune markers so that you'll be able to already have markers set up for phrases and sections uh, for a lot of the lessons that I'm giving. All right, until next time, take care.